Hello everyone, this is King Kony LT. In this video, I will tell you how to use our relay controller connect to your own cloud server. This time, we will use this input point. This input point is for digital input sensor. So you can create the website on your web on your mobile phone so that you can see the input state uh, remotely, like this. This is a door sensor. If I remove Open the door, you can see uh, it will be turned red. Uh, this is the channel 1 input. And I also use the 4G. This is 4G for remote. And if I close the door, just close the door, so you can see the input point will recover to green. So uh, last video, we have seen the, this yellow is output, really output, and this time is the input. And uh, you can use this video and uh, use this node red follows on any other our uh, relay controller, uh, just the old version or new version, or your support for this solution. So let's begin to see how it works. Okay, let's look at this is node red follows. We have created, uh, last time we have created the 32B uh, follows, that is for 32B relay controller. But also you can use it for 13 channel or 8 channel or 4 channel or 2 channel. This is the last video we have created. But at this time, we have added these follows. Just these follows is for input state. And also we have added this, this command. We have all uploaded the follows on our form. At this topic, you can see this is our add the input point monitor function. Uh, you can download these files. When you download these files, you can use in point function uh, like this. Just choose a file. Just choose this file and to open and in point. Okay, before you use, uh, also you can set your controller. Uh, you, any controller, you just set the work mode uh, to TCP client and this is our server's IP, public IP. And this is the point. So just uh, connect to your own card server IP and the part. This part is 6000. Must uh, sync at this point. Double click. This is TCP in. They're listening at this part. So the node red will listen at this part uh, for your relay board. And how to uh, get the input state? We need to see our protocol. You can see this is our protocol in the development. You can see the SDK and the API document. You will find this three. Uh, this is lead input state. Just this sentence you can send to controller and the controller will feedback this command. And the x, this byte x is the state. And we will see uh, how to define uh, if your controller have the, this is 8 channel, if the 32 channel is 6 input point, uh, like this, if you import for this uh, input 1, and then you will see, you will receive uh, this decimal number. This decimal number will convert to the binary. Uh, this is bit 1, just input 1, input 2, and input 3, and input 4, and input 5, and input 6, uh, if you used by 32 channel, 6 input. And this yellow means triangle. This is short for input 1, is yellow. If not uh, short, not triangle, that means is 1. 1 is not triangle. So we just receive, so we just receive this x. Uh, we can decode this x means, so we, need, we will know uh, which is triangled and we should not triangled. So let's look at the node red. The node red, we need to send this command. This command we have seen is to search the input state. We have uh, set the interval time. I, I have set the two seconds. You can set to one second or other seconds just according to you. So uh, this is always, always send the controller this uh, search command. And when you received, the command is received, you can use a switch 
uh, to judgment. Uh, because when input is triggered, we will send an alarm message firstly, and uh, uh, you can get the input state. So this, uh, this will, every time uh, triggered, will send three times, and uh, will never send again, uh, just only three times. And this is for the uh, state. So we will use this away too. At this, we just uh, set to zero and to control the LD. This LD means uh, this LD, uh, the sixth LD indicate. And uh, this function, that means uh, get the substring and decode and convert to the binary from the decimal code. So I think uh, if, you, if you think it's harder to understand, we can make an experiment. Now we have placed the debugger window. We can choose this debugger and uh, clear. We can deploy. Uh, last video we have uh, created the, we can turn on, turn off the relay. Uh, this is turn off, turn off the relay. This is the feedback. You can see every 10 seconds we have sent this command. We have sent this command. This is the feedback. This is 255. Now we, we can receive the 255 for the input point. So we can use the calculate, the Windows calculate. We can, the decimal code is 255. So we can see the binary. This is the binary. Is eight uh, zero 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 uh, zero 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 zero. So that means all is not triggered. And now we can triggered. And this is the door sensor. I have removed this uh, this part. Just means the door is open like this. Remove. So you can see the uh, mobile phone. The LED is red. And the on computer is also red. You can see the number is changed. Now the state number is 254. Uh, we can use this calculate. Also use decimal 254. So you can uh, change to the binary is this number, uh, just this. You can see the first bit is changed to zero. This zero means this is red, is for triggered. So other is not uh, triggered. It also is also is yellow. So now we can shut for import two. Just this. Okay, you can see the number is also changed. Now this is two five two. This is the red. Okay, we can see the two five two. Just use the calculator again. Decimal two five two. Then you can see the binary is. Is this uh, two is zero, so that means uh, this is this two bit is zero. This means zero zero uh, zero zero. Okay, so uh, just the input state is decode for this. This number is okay, uh, so it's very easy. And this time you can remote see the state of the input point of the relay controller. And also you can see in the mobile phone, you can see when I close the door, when I open the door, this is every 10 seconds to detect. And also you can open the relay. This opens the relay, this relay indicate, and the full relay, and the open the door, and the close the door. Okay, this is how to uh, remote monitor the input state. Thanks for watching.